Wu Yunnan versus Jocelyn Edwards. We got minus 165 on Wu Yunnan and plus 145 on the UFC newcomer, Jocelyn Edwards. Let's start off with Wu Yunnan, who's coming off a decision loss to Mizuki anyway in a very, very close fight, which you could arguably give to her as well, too. She had great output with her striking. She threw over 200 strikes, landed over 100 of them as well, too. Um, and she was doing some good work on the feet. Unfortunately for her, Mizuki anyway really implemented her grappling really close to distance, worked good in the clinch got a couple takedowns and uh, did some good work there but it, it was a very close fight you could absolutely score it for Wu Yunnan as well I tried even going back to the MMA decisions page and seeing if you know more fans saw it my way as well too however there were only about 30 or 32 scorecards and the majority of them were in Mizuki anyway's favor so uh, maybe I didn't maybe or I just did not want to read into that fight as much as I, I was thinking but uh, you know, I think we're seeing a, a progression in the, the confidence of Wu Yunnan compared to the first time we saw her in the UFC, where she just got completely outmuscled and manhandled, or woman handled, I should say, by Gina Mazzani. Um, and, and that was the best performance that we've seen from Gina in the UFC as well. So, um, yeah, that, that was a tough fight for Wu. She just could not get anything going. Mazzani did a really good job of pinning her up against the cage and just beating her up in that style, that dirty boxing, dirty clinch style. She she had a lot of success there, and Wu just did not know what the hell she could do in that aspect. And then the next fight, she goes out there and submits Lauren Mueller with a beautiful armbar. Uh, a weird one, too, because you didn't really see her torque on it much. It seemed like Lauren Mueller knew right away that it was in too deep. She was not going to be able to get out, and she kind of just tapped her. So, you know, good on Wu for being able to, to 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 pull off that type of submission and then in the next fight against the inuay obviously just couldn't really get her game going in terms of being dominant enough with her striking but i am very impressed with the volume and the output that we saw too great combinations from wu yunan as well i think that we're seeing a progression in her game a progression in her confidence which i think is going to pay dividends for her in the ufc now, Wu's still young. I believe she's 24 or 25 years old. And uh, to get this type of experience this early in your career is very, very helpful. Now, uh, also, one more thing I want to point out about Wu is actually I find it very weird that we have Marlon Sandro in, his cor in her corner. For the diehard MMA fans out there, you guys will know Marlon Sandro from his time in Bellator. Uh, you know, very high-level jiu-jitsu, uh, I believe, yeah, high-level jiu-jitsu artist, as well as uh, I believe he was a champion in Bellator as well, too. And to see them kind of link up and work together is just it's weird I, I don't know like uh, i don't mean it in like uh you know you shouldn't see those two types of people together but it not not often do you see a brazilian and a chinese uh person kind of working together especially in the mixed martial arts world so uh you know good job on wu yunan she actually received her blue belt after she tapped out lauren Mueller in their fight too so they are having a, a solid working relationship where they're seeing the progression of wu yunan with her jiu-jitsu as well too now going on to the jocelyn edwards side where you know she's coming in on short notice uh she has um she's stepping in for betch Kohea, who just recently pulled out due to having to take a surgery i i forgot exactly what she had to pull out for but uh i'm liking what we're seeing from jocelyn she's 25 years old um she's nine and two her only or her most recent loss was to sarah alpar who is in the ufc as well too most people will remember sarah alpar for for being the girl that took so much damage from uh, jessica rose clark potentially should have gotten finished in that uh in that fight um yeah, very, very tough fight for Sarah Alpar that time around. But for this Jocelyn Jones, Jocelyn's Edwards fight, uh, you know, th that was a split decision win for Sarah Alpar, where she just took her grappling, like she just closed the distance time and time again, dragged this fight to the ground. Uh, but Jocelyn Edwards did a really good job of getting back to her feet over and over again, landing good shots. Even the guys that were scoring at Cade's side, I believe it's Pat Militich, he gave the first two rounds to Jocelyn Edwards, and she probably should have won that fight. You know, she was the one dishing out the damage, whereas Sarah Alpar was the one kind of just controlling the fight uh, with her clinch and, and pushing her up against the cage. But damage should score more in fights, and that's actually in the criteria, damage then cage control. So Justin Edwards absolutely has an argument that she should have won that fight and she should be on an insane win streak at this point in time. Like the last time, uh, the time she lost a fight before that was her second ever fight, uh, second ever pro fight. 
And she actually came back and avenged that loss too by winning via armbar uh, a couple fights later against the same woman. So, um, yeah, she she's avenged her uh, early loss. She should have won that fight against her. Alpar had a really good case as to why she should have won that fight. Uh, and and then most recently she beats a girl named Pamela Gonzalez. This was uh, post COVID era, so uh, July of this past year, and she just dusts her in twenty six seconds. Like the the poor woman, poor Pamela Gonzalez, getting absolutely beat on up against the cage just did not seem like she deserved to be in there didn't even want to be in there um yeah edwards went to work and just absolutely pieced her up and did some solid solid work uh before the sarah alpar fight actually uh jocelyn edwards fought the wife of tim means uh barbara gonzalez means uh and she ended up being her via armbar in the second round uh but she showed a lot of good things in that fight uh jocelyn that is uh great striking did a really good job in terms of maintaining her distance, landing good kicks, landing good punches, landing good teeps down the middle as well too. Um, I, I like what we see from her. I like her ability to maintain and manage the distance the way that she did. I'm not expecting to see a grapple heavy game plan from Wu Yanan here, kind of similar to Sarah Alpar. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is mainly going to be a striking battle and I think we're going to see Wu kind of throwing out wind a little bit more than we're going to see Jocelyn actually landing. I think we'll definitely see uh, Jocelyn get the better strikes off, uh, probably more combinations too. Uh, she has solid jiu-jitsu as well too. I think Wu is still progressing in that aspect, even though she has a victory over Lauren Mueller via submission. Uh, I still think that Jocelyn might be a little bit ahead of her uh, just due to how aggressive and offensive she seems off of her back too. Like the, the arm bar that she pulled off against Brenda Gonzalez was like as soon as she got, fell to her back or, or got to taken down um she was very offensive right away she had a high guard right off the bat really getting her legs up there and just looking for that opportunity to kind of swing her hips around and get that armbar going in. and she did exactly that so uh so solid work there very impressed with what we're seeing from jocelyn i think she could absolutely be an issue here and at plus 145 i think that's a solid spot for her too um the the thing that kind of worries me though is if this fight does stay main, mainly on the feet the the possible volume advantage that Wu might have could sway the judges a little bit i still believe that edwards will be a little bit more effective on the feet landing the better shots landing the better kicks um but just continuously seeing Wu go out there and and putting combinations together even if they miss we already know that the judges sometimes kind of just score that even if it doesn't end up being that effective so that's where my issue is with uh, actually betting this fight i do think that edwards gets the better of it um i've been stung in the past a lot with betting on newcomers uh so that might be keeping me away from actually betting on edwards here but uh at plus 145 it's a very very sexy proposition in terms of uh what we have with the variables here with abu and with jocelyn jones or jocelyn edwards i always want to say jocelyn jones because there used to be a fighter in the ufc named jocelyn jones Lieberger. so it just it just rolls off the tongue a little bit easier just saying jocelyn jones so um literally the only person i know named jocelyn was jocelyn jones now we got jocelyn edwards as well too but uh yeah i i like um i like edwards to win this fight i think she wins via decision um goes out there shows off a great striking game plan um you know uses her elbows uses her kicks uses her punches uses that distance as well too as that's where i think it's going to be very very important for her to manage that distance uh and get the better shots off and i think she'll be able to do that so once again i'll go with jocelyn edwards to win this fight via decision uh and i think she could be a very very solid prospect uh in this weight class and uh, i'm glad that she's made it to the ufc even though she lost to sarah Al part two fights ago again that was a little bit of a red flag for me because i don't really think that highly of sarah alpar but once you actually watch the fight and see how it went down you could absolutely make a, a case for uh jocelyn edwards to win to have won that fight one judge actually did give it to her pat militich actually gave it to her as well too however two other judges scored the cage control and the you know the the wrestling of um alpar more than they did the striking and the damage of edwards so uh, i will go with edwards uh yeah I, I think she wins this fight i'll take her to win this fight via decision